apathy, confusion, and doubt. These exact words depict my first five years of elementary school. I couldn't grasp the significance of spending countless hours sitting inside a classroom, listening to lectures that I thought were pointless, those I constantly questioned why I was being forced to listen to, or completing homework assignments that I didn't have the first career start. This lack of purpose manifested itself in my behavior. I found myself zoning out during class and carelessly skipping through homework assignments and readings without fully absorbing the material being taught. Consequently, I came close to failing in fifth grade. Comparably, when I recall 2018, I remember that it was a collection of years prior in which I never understood why it was important to maintain a healthy lifestyle that led to health complications. The physical ability to play pickup games with my friends, the physical ability to hike with my family, and the ability to have strong confidence in myself are all attributes of life that I didn't account for. Therefore, I didn't pay attention to how much I was overeating, I was constantly consuming sweets, and I avoided exercise because it was so easy. And I found the short-term gratification fulfilling. This behavior and progression over several years led to the ominous verdict of pre-diabetes at just the age of 13. Now, the setbacks that were prevalent in these periods of my life were not a result of the incorrect information or diet, but it was derived from my inability to identify a reason a why to go to school, a why to be healthy, or a why to be successful in any venture in life. When an individual identifies their why for an aspiration, it gives them clear direction and incentive to discipline themselves. This in turn makes it possible to complete what's necessary in order to get closer to their aspirations because the work now becomes meaningful. Even more, clarity on the why keeps you focused on your goals. Every decision, action, or pursuit should always tie back to why. For example, imagine you strive to excel in school because you want to represent your academic capabilities to colleges. You are more than likely going to need to make the decision between going on your phone, playing video games, going on Instagram, or working through your homework assignment, making mistakes and learning from them. You will need to determine which one will take you closer to your goal or further away from your goal. And the decision to one step closer to any goal will always be easy if your why is strong enough. Is the long-term intended result of this action meaningful enough to you? Another important facet of having a strong, clear why is preserving your integrity. Integrity means to have true intentions for a pursuit or a way of living. And most importantly, not lying to yourself. The idea is when you attach meaning to work or actions to a greater purpose. As a result, you are far more attentive and cautious in seeing the work come through or by living by certain principles. There are no longer single decisions or a simple no or yes, but each decision, no matter how big or small, being an essential building block to success. The question you now may be asking yourself is, does having a strong and clear why to amass success only work for certain individuals? perhaps those with superior resources or a better start? The answer to that is absolutely not. There is a significant contingent of people from distinctive backgrounds, those who have started off in worse positions than most, who have amassed success of great depth. The first one is Manny Coachman. Manny is a hyper-successful businessman dealing in over a billion dollars of commercial real estate, a property management company, and quite recently, an innovative app called Fusel. To give context to this individual, he grew up in Iran. At the time, the country was involved in war with Iraq, and unfortunately, the government seeked to draft young boys at the age of 14 to be sent into war. During wartime, the sacrifice of young children was not uncommon. So out of desperation for Manny's safety, his father took him and his entire family to America without any connections or resources to secure the family's finances. As a consequence of lacking security on finance, the family had to jump from home to home, job to job, and in periods of time, even had to live in a car. This strenuous situation that Manny's family was placed in is where his why was derived from. His why 
was to make his father's sacrifice worth a great deal. And that was through becoming financially successful enough to both improve the quality of life and provide a privileged one for his family. Because he was so clear on why he wanted a mass financial success, one in particular that meant a lot to him personally, he led an entrepreneurial career consisting of a large number of failed ventures, starting from opening a mechanic shop, selling peanuts, opening a mortgage company, all prior to finding his niche in real estate, which enabled him to provide, to provide the kind of life he desired for his family at a young age. The other individual I'll speak about today is my favorite. I strongly believe he represents how a normal person living a life of clear pur purpose can amass success in their own vision. And that was my grandfather, Bhagwan Shukla. He grew up in a village in Uttar Pradesh, which is located in India, that lacked the proper resources to foster the kind of education he desired. His ambition was to study engineering, but due to the limited resources, he could not pursue that aspiration. His inability to do what he wanted to do at a young age is where his why was derived from. His why was to have the, the necessary resources to provide the kind of life that his children could pursue any interest of theirs. To see this vision come true, he enlisted into the military, which, in which he received proper education that he utilized later in his life to become the CEO of the largest bicycle corporation in India, known as the National Bicycle Corporation. The job he earned allowed him to be in the position to provide a life he never had for his own children, an abundance of opportunity. In terms of my journey to finding my why, I had to find a compelling reason to excel in school for my academic difficulties. At first, I didn't take interest in excelling in subjects that I thought I would not need to be on high school. But I realized that not doing well in those classes would inaccurately represent my capabilities to colleges. Those colleges being ones that have the resources to foster my career in entrepreneurship, which would allow me to create value with a social impact simultaneously. My why that drove me to excel in school connected beyond grades or a letter on a piece of paper, but rather my mission in life. For my health, when I realized I was pre-diabetic in 2018, I found that taking initiative was not only an opportunity to improve my health, but I saw it as an opportunity to become independently successful. My why was to achieve something great in my life as a result of my actions and my will. Because I identified a purpose that meant a lot to me, I started to avoid going out to prevent eating junk, I started to exercise instead of playing video games, and I actually started to enjoy doing the difficult things because I was so convinced I was doing it for an end goal that meant a lot to me. I lost 40 pounds in a single year as a result. When an individual is able to identify their why, and that's through trying new things, educating yourself, finding if there's something that piques your interest, turns on the vigor, the passion, and excitement of the future, it allows them to live a life of purpose. Additionally, when you're able to find your why, the goal, the vision, or what simply drives you, what you constantly think about should change. Every day, there must be something that is compelling you to go after the steps required to get what you want. Furthermore, the work needed becomes desirable to do, even what you're intrinsically not inclined to do because what you are working towards is something greater, something you are proud of becoming or doing. And so if I can leave you with one statement, I ask all of you, what is your why? Thank you.